The original structure was built in 1923 and it was a narrow bridge. The superstructure was this arch type that you are uh, seeing now. Then in 1982, uh, we decided to remove the deck and widen the bridge. As a result, these, all the substructures are, are widened to accommodate for four lanes of highways. And a new superstructure, which is precast, pre-stressed concrete deck beam, were built over widened uh, superstructure, over widened substructure. Then that PPC deck beams were overlaid with five inches of reinforced concrete to provide smooth uh, wearing surface and to also to provide protection for the PPC deck beams. The superstructure transfers loads from deck to substructure. Substructure is the main uh, support of the bridge. Once we see rust stain, that's an indication of some sort of corrosion, which could, could be accompanied by section loss in that pre-stressing tendons. After a while, these uh, PPC deck beams start uh, deteriorating. And we, once they start deteriorating, we, we pay more attention to it, and we try to inspect this bridge on a frequent basis. At this point, we have decided to replace the entire structure because of its condition and age. It's still a safe bridge to drive on, but we have to upgrade the bridge. One of the upgrades of this bridge, not only a different type of bridge, but it has less number of piers, le less number of piers. And it, right now, it has about 11 piers in the river, the new structure will have only seven piers, which provides wider uh, navigational channel, if you may call it, or uh, less obstruction on the river. It's a, it's a better bridge with longer spans uh, and less number of piers in the river, which is uh, less number of piers is equivalent to less, uh, lesser amount of maintenance.